So just a couple of things before we start. Um, a couple of workshop add-ons that you're going to need. You're going to need advanced RT camera, as well as multiple RT camera, or multiple advanced RT camera. Um, I'm going to be showing these listings here on the screen. I'm going to have links in the description. Uh, they are paramount to what we are trying to achieve today. So get the add-ons, make your life a little easier, and we'll go through how I set up um, these mods in Gmod to get what I get. Uh, very, very simple and straightforward. We'll just go ahead and subscribe to, uh, to both of these and uh, they'll show up in game and then we'll just go ahead and select them or place them or uh, whatever part of the process we're in. And um, yeah, the ultimate goal is to try and show how I pr performed, how I did the, uh, the cameras in the previous video. I got a couple of messages on Discord about it. So, um, so this is what that's about. We're gonna go ahead and just jump in and uh, try to explain the process real quick. Um, I'm gonna set up a couple of models, set up the cameras, and then show off uh, how easy it is to just perform uh, and set up a scene. Uh, so thank you. So this seems like a good area that we can um, set up a couple of cameras and show off the different angles and the ease of access of different cameras. Uh, first, we're going to need a couple of ragdolls. So let's place them in. We're going to pose them up real quick and, uh, and then set up the cameras afterwards. Um, And kind of want him looking not but that's okay let's uh So it looks like my uh, my my are set. At. I'm going to um, go ahead and use a uh, multi RT camera. We have to set the ID. Uh, this will let us uh, have multiple cameras, basically. So I usually use the first three letters of uh, first, second, third. So this one's called fur. Um, so we set up the camera. The camera is uh, so you can't uh, make it invisible or anything. Um, you're able to move it around. There is an option for you to have a static camera where it doesn't move around. And as you can see, there's a shadow, a ghost of this monitor that we're going to place down, and that is associated to our first camera there. We set the monitor up, and then we'll go back into our tool menu. 
and pick up the other camera mod, we'll get close enough to the image to um, pretty much uh, block out that top part where it says FIR and still have like a full screen image, right? Um, uh, sorry, my... messed up there uh, from that position and it's a, it's a real target uh, render target so it does show um, real time uh, if players walk around and whatnot it'll show so um, now now that we get the concept let's go ahead and set up another angle and then we can switch between the two cameras and establish a scene basically so we're gonna go back to our uh, multi RT and um, choose our angle. So this is going to be the uh, the ceiling shot from the previous video. And uh, we set our camera down, and we head back, and we're going to set our monitor down now. I, I, and. Um, And there is um, there's the monitor. Okay, perfect. So we'll go into our tools menu again and choose that camera, the uh, the advanced render target camera. Choose a new bind. Get into position. I like to use no clip while crouched and kind of block out that that top bit there that has the letters. And then we'll set our camera. And uh, as you can see, when we hit keybind uh, one, it shows their second camera, and keybind zero will show our first camera. So we can choose um, which cameras to switch to and have an ease of access to switch between the two cameras. Um, and then this this allows us to get that um, kind of like scan line effect that's going on as well as have that like static position to be able to just uh, like observe the scene from certain angles. Now um, one of the shots that was uh, that was asked about was the pan shot. Um, this is a pretty easy pretty I mean it's pretty pretty easy like <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, and set a camera and then we're gonna grab it with the fizz gun and then we're gonna go into no clip we're gonna crouch and then we're just going to hit a direction and that's uh, that's how I did the pan shot so um, we'll get started on that I'm gonna go ahead and make sure um, my camera is going to be in front of this other camera because I don't want it in the shot as I pan, so I check real quick and I am behind that camera, so I move a, a step forward, place the camera down, and um, we're gonna go ahead and set up the monitor real quick and uh, make sure it's out of the way, of course, it's not in the shot. And then set up the uh, our third advanced target, uh, advanced render target camera, and uh, then we'll continue on with uh, with that so the, the process is pretty simple um, you get the mods um, set up your scene right um, place the the multi render target I'm gonna make sure that's the the, the proper title for this real quick um, yeah multiple advanced render target cameras so that's that's your first camera you're gonna set down and then with the same tool you're going to set down the monitor with the right click it's a left click for the uh for the camera right click for the monitor you're going to then go back into your tools menu uh hit the advanced camera right uh set the key bind for that and that is going to be what we're at that's going to be So yeah, if uh, if you need any help, let me know. I'll definitely. 
I do appreciate people checking it out, coming through. Uh, this is how I basically did it. Later.